Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. What about uh, mice? There have been some anecdotal reports um, of rodents in the field. Well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Come in. Mice? Deers? Yeah. I mean, think about it. There is all this food all lying food around on the ground, you know, yeah. and this free food, free lunch. <laughs> Yes, um, yeah, and, and that's a problem also. I, do, I, I think it's a problem because when, when you do the hand picking, you won't get the mass excreta. When you do the combining, you will love it. And there is, there is time tolerance for excreta, and, and, and that won't change. You know, that, that setup, and, and that won't change. So, um, yeah, mice, mice, not just mice, actually deer also could be a problem um, because there is some instances that you could have deer in the, in the field. And yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's free food. Oh yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> free food lying there. around. But is, is that contaminant then? Can you salvage that canola if that, that is present? Mm. <sighs> I'm not sure you can clean it. Oh. I, I don't think you can clean. And the tolerance is really low. I think it's about 0.2%, 0.02% for uh, deer mice, um, mice excreta. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Don't. Yeah, I'm not sure you can clean. Okay. If you if you could clean, yes. But sometimes the size is the same size as yeah, the canola yeah. seed. Similar. And then then you won't be able to clean anything, and and that's that's where the problem is. Okay. So, yeah. So finally, then, what do you hope to end up with coming out of this study? Do you? Canola was in under under snow two weeks. It's going to have this quality. Under snow three weeks, have this quality. Uh, you won't I be wish that it was that <laughs> simple. <laughs> I, 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 one of the things that we might see is um, the fact that we never saw before. You know, like maybe see that a very strange color that we don't see before, and that's going to give an indication of what the things was happening. And so, and that might give an indication for something else. So I, I'm, I'm no, I'm, I don't think I will be able to tell you, okay, if you sit in the snow for one week and then you harvest, it, it's fine. Actually, I know about that because um, we got samples that the people, uh, that people harvest late November, December, and we know that most of the samples were okay. They were a bit high in the FFA, a bit higher than normal because of the moisture again, but they were fine. Um, so that part is done, <laughs> mm -hmm. but now the rest, I'm not sure, you know, and, and I think he will, it will be also benefit to us because uh, we might see defect and we might see things that we didn't see otherwise and we won't be able to see. And that's also the reason why we're running the program, you know, because there might be some, uh, we got some of the samples actually that was quite interesting. They look very nice from outside. There were no molding, there was nothing. But when you crush them, because you need to crush canola to see the way they look, they were all orangey. So that means they had color that was not normal. So now we're going to do the chemistry to see what was happening. But that was very really strange because when they open it, they look very nice. They say, oh, that's a nice sample. But actually, no, there is a problem in that sample. So that's also things like that we might see. Okay. And that will give us an indication, and more indication than just, you know, FFA. FFA, it's a... FFA, it's a general term that's going to give you there is a problem, but it's not going to tell you what is the problem. It's going to say, well, there is a problem. That's it. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it... I, it sounds like we'll have to make another trip back here maybe in summer to, uh, to find out the conclusions and, and some of what you yeah. have learned at the end of this. Yeah, and Thank then you. whatever we find as the result for the study will be on the website so mm -hmm. people can look at it. You know, like the way we, we published the, the small study that we did from the over snow in, in November. This is on the, on the website so people can look at it and it will be there. All right. So, and thank you. Yep, thanks for your time. Thank you.